friends and welcome. Um, thanks for joining us tonight for our first ever Great Bay Community College um, Athletics Virtual Banquet. Um, we hoped to be sitting around having a nice fancy meal and uh, doing a normal banquet with you, but when we realized that wasn't going to be possible, this is uh, this was Plan B. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it works and uh, it's a success. Um, We've got a lot to be proud of for the program this year. Uh, I look forward to talking, uh, hearing from your coaches and revisiting and um, reflecting on what a successful year we've had and some of your accomplishments. Um, before we jump into it, starting with a few thank yous. Uh, first and foremost to you all, student athletes. This program um, exists for you and it wouldn't exist without you. Uh, we recognize how hard it is to be a student athlete and appreciate the time and energy you all put into it. Uh, most of you are working part-time or full-time. We recognize how much uh, time it takes to, to be a student athlete. So thank you. The coaches, uh, we recognize how much time coaches put into their role uh, and how much we're at this level practice planning, off-season work goes into it, recruiting week goes work goes into it. And as I'm sure everybody knows, these aren't full-time jobs for any of us. Uh, so it's it's definitely appreciated. And we know that you're all in it for the right reasons. We, we want to do this because we want to see these students succeed. And we, we appreciate and recognize that. Uh, this, this faculty, staff, and administration at Great Bay, we really support, uh, recognize your support, and appreciate your support from the the support we see with faculty members coming out to games, it's uh, obvious when we're looking at the students and they, they recognize when, they're, when their instructor or their professor is at the game. They recognize when their friends and family are at the game. So that support is very, very much appreciated as well. Uh, our home game management crew, Jeff, um, Tracy, you two have been fantastic uh, making sure that all of our, our games are going smooth. Kier, Nolan, Jess, Michael, that crew makes sure that our, <clears throat> our our home games go off without without a hitch. Um, and before we get into the sports specific content, uh, I've got a we got a special message from uh, our president, uh, Dr. Catherine Addy. And you'll notice she's coming to us from the the 14th green at Augusta National. So take it away, Dr. Addy. Hi everyone. I am so glad to be able to say a few words at your athletic awards event. Yes, it is stating the obvious to say that having a virtual event is not everyone's first choice. However, that doesn't have to mean that the awards and recognition you are receiving are less meaningful or less important. On behalf of the entire college, I send congratulations to each of you. And I really hope you will always treasure your time at Great Bay, whether on a court, on a field, on a course, on a track, in a classroom, or just hanging out in a student center or the green bean. We have loved having you here and have tried to cheer you on in every way possible. I also add my thanks to the coaches and Allison and Brittany and everyone who has supported your athletic endeavors. For those who are staying with us next fall, we will figure out a way to keep going, keep our teams going. For those who, of you who are on to your next adventure, remember this one piece of advice. Even if you're on the right track, you will get run over if you just sit still. So keep working hard, keep striving, keep dreaming, and keep coming back to visit us. Congratulations to everyone and best wishes. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been run. From the law, hope they won't shoot me down soon. They seem gone to sleep this night. Try to catch me howling at the moon. My name is Lisa McCurley and I am the Vice President of Academic Affairs. 
I wish I could join you all in a more personal way to celebrate your accomplishments as teams and individual athletes, but I'm still honored to be part of this virtual event. The qualities that you all have demonstrated within and outside of your sports are something you should be very proud of. Your self-discipline, character, passion, determination, and perseverance have not only contributed to your success as a student and athlete, but also created a sense of spirit, camaraderie, and engagement on campus for other students, faculty, and staff. For those of you that will be continuing at Great Bay, I look forward to seeing you in the fall and attending your games. For those of you who are graduating or leaving Great Bay for other adventures, I wish you continued success and hope you always carry a piece of us with you. I also leave you with this quote, there will be obstacles, there will be doubters, there will be mistakes, but with hard work, there are no limits. Thank you for allowing the faculty, staff, and coaches at Great Bay to be part of your journey. Wishing you the best. Hello, Great Bay Herons. It's Allison from Student Life. I just wanted to let each and every one of you know how incredibly proud I am of you. The work that you put in within your team and in the classroom truly showed. You made athletics, student life, the college as a whole, just super proud. You took what it meant to be a Heron and you took it to heart and it showed. And I just wanna thank you all for that. And if you're coming back in the fall, then I can't wait to see you. Let's come back even stronger. And if you're moving on, move on with confidence and move on with pride and do great things. I know you will. Um, congratulations to you all and a great year. Good afternoon, Great Bay athletes. As an avid sports fan and a leader in student affairs for nearly two decades, it is unimaginable to me that we are living in a world without sports. And it's heartbreaking for those of you who have had your seasons cut short in such an abrupt way. It takes a great deal of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice to be a college student athlete. And I can only imagine what you are feeling. You should, however, be proud, very proud. I am honored by the incredible athletes that represent Great Bay each year. You are truly amazing and inspiring, and though some seasons were cut short, congratulations is in order. Remember, in the words of Vince Lombardi, it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. And I, for one, have no doubt that our athletes will get back up and go on to do great things here at Great Bay, at a four-year university, or out in the world. Thank you, Herons. that we're filming this video but in light of COVID-19 um, I wanted to make sure I got a congratulations out to you all for everything that you've achieved this past season in 2019 we had a remarkable season you know us coaches we can't show any more gratitude that we can um, we do fully respect you all and that's something that you ladies have achieved solely on your own you know as coaches we're not on the court playing with you we're just on the sidelines telling you you know what we see how we can see strategic gameplay playing out, but you ladies have executed and achieved, you know, the greatest goal that we could have for the school and it's hanging up, you know, in the gym on the wall for future student athletes to see, which is a huge accomplishment again, you know, it's something that will show, you know, dedication to this program, you know, what the school can do, you know, other things that other sports programs can aspire to have, you know, um, so it's really great. You ladies have continued to set goals and records and will continue. Um, unfortunately, some of you will be graduating, transferring. It's a huge loss to the program, but as coaches, please know we support anything that you do um, and couldn't be more appreciative for your time and participation in this past program. I did want to point out that we finished the season with a strong 12 wins, 4 losses. That included the bid to nationals. And again, your bid to nationals was the first time any sports program at Great Bay has seen that. So congratulations again. That is a huge accomplishment. Um, you know, and even so, again, the banner is going to hang on that gym wall. You are going to be a remembrance, a role model program for the school for years to come. Um, and so I just want to say thank you again to you ladies. I couldn't be happier. 
Um, as coaches, it has been remarkable watching you grow as a team, as student athletes, as young women on and off the court. Long days, long and nice. You feel? Now, I don't even know, lady. Take it, go. In the dirt, say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never yeah. rehearse, jumping in first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd. Take your berserk, don't get on the track, man, and they better spark. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just passing the shirt when I'm telling you. One word nationals. Can you guess what I'm gonna say? I bet you can't, so I'm gonna tell you. You guys did a phenomenal job that weekend. You broke records in a way that made you get to go to nationals and you pushed so hard and played your best even though you were up against the top team that won in 2018. That didn't stop you though from continuing to play your game and for that we are so proud of you. This team was filled with personality and passion for the game. Each one of you was an individual contributor which was necessary for the success of this program. And again, as coaches, we want to congratulate you on a fantastic season as we continue to break records. Your endless positive attitudes and infinite commitment to the team have revolutionized the volleyball program here at Great Bay. And it is without a doubt that you are an inspiration to the entire community. Um, during our lowest moments, this team faced many obstacles that we had initially defined as limits, but you did not let that stop you. And with strength and perseverance, you will not only accomplish all that you set forth in your volleyball careers, but also in your everyday lives. Okay, hello again, ladies. We're gonna do something a little bit different this year. Um, so we're gonna actually do team superlatives this year. I thought that was something fun. You know, we had a lot of personality on this team, you know, and everyone was a key player. So without further ado. Team clown goes to Ashley. Ashley, where do we even start? Um, from the moment you stepped out of the court, you always had a way of making everyone laugh, whether it be your TikTok dances and video sharing, your graceful twinkle toes approach, or <laughs> your random comments that would make us all laugh even in the toughest times. Um, so thank you for always bringing the fun to everything and making light of every situation. Go team! Can we guess who gets the most team spirit award? Marissa, that's you, girlfriend. Thank you for always lifting the team up in a way that no one else could, even myself, and I used to be the most spirited coach. You did a phenomenal job this season in picking everyone up in their lowest of lows and played an integral part of the team on and off the court to the point where even us coaches felt it. So thank you. Most flexible player. Morgan, I've known you for years, and throughout these years, your ability and willingness to be moved from position to position hasn't changed at all. Um, we could stick you anywhere on the volleyball court, and you would try your hardest without a single complaint. This was an incredibly valuable asset this season because if something happened to another one of our girls, because let's face it, you're all pretty much accident prone, um, you were there and willing to play positions that you weren't necessarily comfortable in, um, but nevertheless, you stepped up and did what needed to be done, and we are all very proud of you for that. Nikki Flanagan, are you in a body bag yet, like bubble wrap so that you don't get injured? Because you win, most likely to break your body for going for a play. And although you gave me a million and one scares every single game, I think this goes without saying that you have the hustle and motivation and drive like no one we've ever seen before. Most grit and hustle player. M, this should come as no surprise. It's been evident since you walked on the court two seasons ago. Your intensity and grit kept the team going through some of our hardest moments. And you never gave up. You always gave it your all and you hustled to absolutely everything. Need we mention the bench incident at Nationals? I'm proud of you. say hello to everybody. I hope everybody's staying safe. Um want to say thank you for short but productive uh, 
start of the spring, I was really, really pleased with the feedbacks that I was getting from uh, Coach Wood from all the workouts in the morning, uh, everything else that you guys were doing. Uh, it, it is a sad, sad thing that we didn't get to play because I do feel that we had a, a talented pool of kids. Um, a lot of guys working hard and a lot of guys working for, uh, for the spring. Uh, with that said, you know, continue working. Obviously, everybody gets a year back of eligibility. Um, I want to say special thanks to Aaron Pomeroy, Brendan Sargent, and some of the guys who were actually helping run the, the practices with Derek. Um, special, my special guy, actually, from the beginning is my secret weapon, Brendan Sargent, that's actually uh, graduating and moving on to uh, bigger and better things. What a great story this kid is. I mean, he came in, barely made the team, barely played baseball in high school, and just became uh, one of our, our best guys, really one of our go, uh, go-to guys throughout the seasons, um, and, and such a leader. So I just want to say thank you for all your work uh, with the team, with the community, and uh, we wish you the best of luck in the future. You're definitely a guy that we want people to look, you know, look up to when it comes to uh, community colleges and what you can do uh, to move forward. Um, with that said, stay safe, guys. Uh, stay healthy. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the fall. I'll talk to you soon. Hello, everybody. It's Melvin Torres a new softball coach at Great Bay Community College. Um, I'm a little upset about what happened this season. We cut it short because the COVID-19, um, we had a couple of practices indoors, and I was excited for this, this season. We got a pretty good team. Um, but I'm looking forward for next year. With this, um, next year, looking forward with the, the returning players to have a great season. Uh, Brian Scott, head coach of the women's team here at Great Bay. Um, basketball is back at Great Bay. Um, I couldn't be prouder of this team of women that, um, that we put together this year. We certainly struggled at times, um, but it, cert it wasn't because of the effort. Uh, the effort was always there. Um, the ladies were ready to go, and um, I thank you for that. Um, we recognize uh, Nicole and I talking through this season that all of you played with challenges, with pain, with struggles, with um, injuries that you were um, that you were working through, um, trying to work around your work schedule, your class schedule, um, but you never gave up. You were always there. You were ready to go. Um, as we reflected on this season, a few things that uh, that come to mind that we've thought about um, that are, are good memories for me. That first road trip, um, playing at Hampshire getting our first win, traveling up uh, to upstate New York, the whole hotel challenges, um, getting getting to the hotel late that night, uh, getting in our rooms, having another great, uh, great win on Sunday, um, really kind of coming together as a team, certainly is, uh, that, that was something that was a good memory. And then just the road, the trip back, stopping at Texas Roadhouse, that was a, a good meal. And then um, the ferry ride uh, across Lake Champlain was something that that uh, hopefully is a, a, a good memory for you all. It's certainly a, a, a great memory that I have. Um, what other memories came up? Um, the, the turkey or bird or whatever it was that flew into the side of the van, that, um, that was an interesting memory. You all know what I'm talking about. Um, that string of text messages uh, also when we were in Maine about going to get ice cream at Dairy Queen. That's uh, you all are funny, you know, and funny, funny group. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was a, it was a good season. We, we won the games that we should have won um, for the most part. Uh, we wish we had another shot at unity. That's a team we could have beaten, um, I think, but uh they got the best of us after Tatiana went down and that girl hit six threes in the first half. Um, that's a team I wish we would have had another shot at. I think we could beat them. Um, and that last Hampshire game, that one's on me. Um, if I would have uh, let you guys press in the second half, like Madison was suggesting, I think the outcome is, is different um, in that game. Um, yeah, 
thanks for for putting in the effort. We we recognize it. We appreciate it. Um, I'm just pumped about uh, all the great memories and getting back into coaching. I don't think I realized how much I missed coaching until I got back into it. Um, and I'm excited about next season. I'm excited about all the women that are coming back. Um, Mackie and Lauren, we're gonna miss you all. We're gonna miss. We're gonna miss your effort. Uh, we're gonna miss your your um your humor you two had um had some personalities that i think the team is really gonna miss um so don't be strangers stay in touch come back um so yeah like i said we are excited about next season hopefully we can get in the gym soon um start some of our summer workouts uh but yeah all right what we're gonna do now um nicole and i are gonna kind of bounce through some superlatives so without further ado the first superlative um, goes to most likely to say happy Thanksgiving when they block your shot. You guessed it, it's Emma. Um, not sure what's going on in your head, Emma. <laughs> um, one quick memory from Emma, um, the, the you made Augusta game. We traveled up there on a Tuesday and played in the Civic Center and we were only able to travel with five and you were one of the five and you definitely put in a, a, a good game there. That was, I think that was by far your best game this season. Um, so, yeah. So for our next superlative, the video that you are about to see accurately describes her. <laughs> This girl can't stop laughing, not even if she wanted to. So, most likely to go two straight hours and a bus ride, just laughing, goes to Lauren. Next up, most likely to uh, want to go for a run at 6 a.m. Um, on the day on the road between games. Caitlin, I'm not sure what you're, uh, what's going through your mind a lot of times. <laughs> you. Uh, won't say anything for like two days. And then when you do finally start talking, you're hilarious um, and you're cracking everybody up. Um, so yeah, um, one other thing with Caitlin, we, uh, we, we pushed her into being a point guard this year, which isn't her natural position, but she accepted that. And um, she's done a great job uh, handling the ball and accepting that role. And I'm really excited about uh, having her back next year and uh, hopefully getting into her uh, getting her back into more of her uh, her natural position. So, Caitlin. Most likely to be ejected from a game, it's going to have to go to Tatiana because she was very, very vocal in our bench. And she would say this thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to do it as good as her. She would say, let's go white. Tatiana, you're going to have to teach me how to do the white thing. White. Oh, hi. Um, most likely to work a full day and then come straight to practice or straight to the school um, to catch a van and go to a game um, is Issa. You kind of got a late, a late jump on the season, but uh, you definitely made an impact um, when, you, when you were available. Okay, so next up we have someone who can probably go a couple days without practicing and can go to the game and hit three to four threes in a row, no warming up. And that's gonna be Marky. Okay, next up, most likely to start a fight in a game. Leah, <laughs> I don't know where your intensity comes from sometimes. You're so so friendly and um, soft-spoken outside the game, but in the game, it's, uh, it's there. Um, you're also most likely to always get back on defense, which uh, definitely helped us at times. Next up, it's going to be most likely to be famous one day, and we're going to have to give it to Mackie because she's just very, very funny. Um, the girl, Sky Jokes, for days. Okay, next up, most likely to pick up four fouls in the first quarter. <laughs> um, but you managed to not foul out of either of those games. Uh, Madison Lovely, nice work. Um, she also led the nation in rebounds this year. Um, and... Player of the Week for the USCA twice, and also National Player of the Week one week. Um, so nice work, Madison. So next up, we have someone who we think could have a double life somewhere, and um, nobody would know about because she doesn't really say anything. 
she's just kind of keeps everything private to herself most likely to be living a double life that nobody would know about will be Gianna and her name would be Lil Gianna because she can rap. Okay, most likely to keep the jerseys warm on the way to the game. Nicole, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Nicole, thanks for everything this season. Um, you've uh, your role as a as a basketball coach, also just all the photos you've taken for the athletic program as a whole. Um, we really appreciate everything that uh, that you've done for the program, and certainly recognize it. Um, Hey guys, Alex Burt here, head coach of the men's basketball team here at Great Bay Community College. Uh, first and foremost, I hope that everyone is safe and well during these trying times that we're all currently experiencing. I would also like to congratulate the women's volleyball team on winning the YSCC Conference Championship. You know, that is something to be extremely proud of. It's something that our men's basketball team hopes to at some point accomplish as well. I would also like to thank everyone from within the athletics department. You know, we have a great supporting cast here at Great Bay. And uh, it's one that I'm extremely thankful for, and it's something that our team collectively is, is thankful for as well. Touching base a bit about our season, you know, as does every team, you know, we had our moments of experience. We had times where we really needed to rally around one another to fight through the brick wall that was in front of us. Um, you know, and we had times where our hard work, determination, togetherness, you know, really shined its brightest. Um, and in conclusion of that, we finished nine and 13 overall which ranked us in the top 50% in the country. We beat the number five ranked team in the country at home, 96-93. We had two student athletes make the all tournament team at the holiday tournament. We had two student athletes earn YSCC Conference Player of the Week. And we had three student athletes make the all academic team, um, which is having a 3.5 GPA or better. Uh, you know, and something else to add is we had a few guys on the roster have their best academic semesters. Um, throughout the course of their whole college academic career. So all these different things are, are things that we're extremely proud of this group for. Rather than do awards, um, I'd rather just say a few words about each one of our guys instead. Uh, and we'll start with the freshman, Hunter Bullock, who was the point guard for us this year. I was uh, honestly extremely hard on Hunter throughout the course of the year, um, but he's got great mental toughness. Um, and because of that, he showed tremendous improvement throughout the course of the year with his on-ball defense, um, with within the flow of our offense, getting a foot in the paint and finding the open teammate. Um, you know, throughout the course of the year, teams were sagging off Hunter and uh, he started working on his three point shot and got to the point where he was making about one a game, um, which was huge for us. Ethan May, who is the definition of a two way guy, um, Ethan can score the ball, rebound the basketball. West Falls Arano uh, started at the center for us most times, um, which is traditionally out of his position. Um, but he accepted that challenge, you know, being in that spot means you have to be extremely physical and similar to Max, we challenged Wes in that regard. And uh, he stepped up to that challenge and did exactly that and made those improvements. Um, you know, biggest game that comes to mind is when we beat the fifth ranked team in the country at home. Um, Wes had 27 points and 10 rebounds, which was huge for us. Um, and really that growth and development on the floor for him was huge for us on most nights. Craig Hounham who was a forward for us this year. Um, he made the all academic team with a 3.5 GPA or greater. Uh, you know, and that IQ translated onto the basketball court, especially on the defensive end. Um, you know, Craig is a kid that's very physically tough. And, uh, you know, one game that really sticks in my mind is at Central Maine. We put Craig in to defend Central Maine's best forward. And Craig was more than willing to bump and bruise with that kid on every possession. Um, you know, and it's something that I think uh, was probably the sole reason as to why we made a couple of pushes that we did in that game. On to the juniors, George Mortimer, who led our team in points and rebounds. He was YSCC Conference Player of the Week twice. He uh, made the all-tournament team at the holiday tournament. George also made the all-academic team, um, not just with the 3.5, but just like Luke, he had a 4.0, um, which all of those things are, are awesome. Great accomplishments for him. Um, you know, but aside from all of that, uh, he brought some definite leadership and veteran experience to this team. Um, you know, George was a lead by example kind of guy. He was the first one in the gym every day, 
and uh, typically he was the last one to leave as well. Um, you know, that type of leadership, uh, you know, is very important for any team that lead by example. Jordan Williams, who was our vocal leader, uh, he's loud, you know, uh, his voice can project louder than mine oftentimes. So having that voice out on the floor um, in practice and in game comes in huge, especially when you have a younger group, which typically younger teams are more quiet. Um, so having a guy that wants to be that vocal leader is very valuable for, for this team, especially. Um, you know, Jordan made the all tournament team at the holiday tournament. And, uh, you know, similar to, to Dylan, Jordan had his best two academic semesters of his whole college academic career, um, both in the fall and spring. So, you know, above all, that's something that we're extremely proud of. Keir Taylor, who sat out this year, um, but he was just as valuable as anyone. Um, you know, he was more than willing to do the things on the court, off the court, um, whatever was in the best interest of the team, he was wanting to do it. Um, and that is something that this group is very thankful for, um, for him, for him, you know, willing to do all those things in the best interest of the team. Um, you know, similar to Dylan and Jordan, Kier had his best two academic semesters, both fall and spring this year as well. Um, so again, extremely proud of that, of that improvement in the classroom. A couple of guys that I should also mention, Jeff Grinnell, um, you know, Jeff got us from point A to point B every time. So uh, we thank you for that, Jeff. Um, but, you know, Jeff's a hoop guy. He loves to talk basketball. Um, he loved being around the guys. The guys loved being around him. Um, you know, and that is something that I am extremely thankful for um, because he was just a perfect fit for, for us, for this, for this environment, this culture. Um, so, Jeff, I definitely thank you for everything you did for us this year. And uh, last name I should mention is Coach Zach Lewis, our assistant coach. Um, he was awesome from start to finish. Um, you know, any task that needed to get done in the best interest of the team, he was more than willing and wanting to do it. Um, another guy that loves hoop. Um, you know, there was a number of nights where he would stay late with me in the office after a good or bad practice, good or bad game, um, and just chat with me for hours, to be honest. Um, you know, other things that are moments that, that come to mind are, you know, I thought I was crazy for texting him or calling him as late as one or two in the morning. I think my latest phone call to him was, was close to 3 a.m. one time. Um, but even crazier, Coach Zach answered that text and answered that phone call literally every time. Um, you know, and I think that speaks volumes because, uh, you know, it just shows me that and shows us that he loves this team just as much as I do. Um, you know, and Coach Zach, I greatly appreciate everything you did for this group this year. In conclusion, you know, there's a lot for this team, this program to be proud of, um, both academically and athletically. Um, but above all, the different improvements that, that this team made, um, you know, collectively throughout the course of the season, but in the course of the school year, um, speaks volumes to who we have as young men on this team. Um, and it's something that I'm extremely thankful and proud of. Go Herons. Hello again, folks. Um, Brian Scott again, uh, Athletic Director. Thank you for attending tonight and, uh, and, and, and listening in to our uh, highlights about our program. Um, it's been a great year. Uh, just a few quick recaps from this year to, to kind of put it all uh, together in perspective. First time we've had a team qualify for a national tournament with women's volleyball. They won the conference championship. Um, we had all conference uh, folks in Bren Coleman and Nicole Flanagan. Uh, we had multiple player of the weeks during volleyball season. Again, Bren Coleman and uh, Nikki Flanagan. Um, we had some honorable mention All-Americans with uh, Ashley Tangway also Nikki Flanagan at the national tournament. <clears throat> um, men's basketball had a, had a great season with, uh, again, a few individual awards. Uh, Player of the Week, George, a couple times, and Dylan. Um, women's basketball also had a strong season with Madison Lovely leading the way with a couple of uh, Player of the Week individual honors and uh, also national Player of the Week honors. Um, Bringing it back to the fall with baseball, uh, baseball and softball kind of uh, had a tough, tough outing with the fall season. The league decided to not do much. And then the spring, as soon as they were getting started, things got shut down. Um, but uh, we look forward to getting those folks back out on the on the field in the, in the fall. Um, we did have quite a few 
all academic team folks with baseball, Brandon Sargent, Carson Smith, Carter LaFoy, Carter LaForce, uh, Brent Haley, we're all YSCC academic, um, all team academics. Um, volleyball, Nicole Knowles and Morgan Cunningham were also on the all academic team for the YSCC. <clears throat> um, the average GPA for our all student across, athletes across the board was right around 3.0 this year, which is something as a program we're very, very happy with. Um, we're also really looking to push um, to do more community service next year. We did a little bit. We were just getting things going in the spring when things got shut down, which was kind of disappointing because we had just built some strong relationships uh, with Portsmouth Housing Authority, but that'll be something that we really are excited and our student athletes are ready and willing to do it. We just gotta make it happen. Um, Back to the academics, uh, the, the GPA thing is something again that we're really proud of. All those, all those <clears throat> study hall hours are finally paying off, right, right, folks. <laughs> um, we will have spring um, YSCC academic all um, all conference teams announced. Those actually should be announced next week. So keep an eye on the website for that. Um, last couple things. Again, thank you to our coaches. Thank you to the. The, the Great Bay administration, faculty and staff for everything you all do to support the program. Um, and a special thank you to uh, Nicole, Nicole Marrero, um, who put in lots and lots of time throughout the year, taking photos, putting videos together. She runs our social media accounts, which um, if you look at our social media compared to a lot of the other schools in the conference, we're, uh, we, are, we are far better as far as video quality and some of the stuff that we're putting out. And even just this video that she put together tonight, um, we have, we are super lucky to have Nicole, who is um, one of a Great Bay former athlete student um, at Great Bay, who's helping us with this part of it. Uh, Nicole, you're doing an amazing job with all this stuff. Hopefully you hang around for a while and continue doing it. Um, so yeah, thanks for, for joining us. Um, I look forward to seeing all of you again soon. Hopefully we're back back on campus in the fall and I'll see you in the gym, see you on the field. And um, until then, have a safe and enjoyable summer. Take care, folks. <laughs>